the Batman trailer. And it did not disappoint. It looks fucking fire. It I like good. I like everything about it aesthetically. I'm fucking there for it. He's got the, we all knew he had the jawline for it. You put the bat the fucking mask on and he's got like, I mean, he's 90% jaw in the first place. So he's got the crazy looking Batman jaw. The, we heard the Batman voice for the first time. It sounded really good. And then we got a little bit more of like an idea of who he was going to be going up against. Some of them were still, are still kind of misnomers. Like people are taking guesses. Oh, it's like Riddler and Penguins in there. Hush uh, is another one people are guessing at yeah. possibly being in there. Uh, but uh, but I liked the aesthetic. I liked the tone. I loved the Batmobile. It was like mm. super like hands on. It didn't feel it didn't feel com- that comic booky. It was like he just took like a fucking muscle car and strapped a bunch of shit to it and called it a day. Well, that's uh, good. that that and I, and that, I think that's what he probably does in the movie. Yeah. This this Batman happens. Uh, within the first two years of him, it's like a year and a half in of him becoming Batman. So he doesn't really have, you know, he is it. We're we're getting a, a detective, grimy, realistic, adult Batman, uh, like in terms for the audience. And I feel like the reason why his Batmobile looks like that is because he hasn't gotten. To the high, no, this super is high like, or this seems up. like it's early on Batman. Yeah. He's got money, so he's strapping things onto a fucking like muscle car and customizing it a little bit, and and it looks it looks awesome. Um, the only thing that I wasn't a fan of, uh, in the trailer, and it's just this is, and I think it looks amazing. By the way, I'm I'm all for this. Um, it's very very intriguing. Uh, we're not getting like an origin story of Batman, which is good. Um, so I love everything. The only thing I wasn't sold on was his Bruce Wayne. I found it a little bit too. Um, to be honest, it was a little Twilighty. <laughs> if I'm if I'm just being honest. Now, that being said, he's a younger Bruce Wayne. He might not have have gotten to the point where his hair slicked back and he's I don't, he, he's, I don't think he has the confidence this, yet, right? Exactly. He doesn't have that swagger yet. He doesn't he, he isn't he isn't the Bruce Wayne that we know of yet. But I I just from seeing it, it was it, his his skin was very pale. You know, the movie's very dark in general, but like it just the how long his hair was, it just felt I, I don't want to say tw- I, I'm just gonna say it if for for you're you're already going over a hurdle for the casuals that just think Twilight, and then this is the this is the Bruce Wayne that you're going to show the world first. Uh, even though they're just a couple of quick stills, it 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 was like a little bit. It I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. You know, I was just like, ah, eh, I the Batman, the look, the voice, the the like you said, the jawline, even his physique. You know, being young, not like not not this big brawly like uh like bat like Battinson was or Batman or what are we Batflack? Um, Batflick, yeah. Uh like he was. I'm totally fine with that. I just his Bruce Wayne look, I'm not saying his character or how he acts. It was just a little bit too. I think that's uh, kind of. I know. I well. I I think it's. I think that was intentional. Not the twilightiness of it. But I think making him look pale, having him not be as big, he's rough cut, he's green, he's probably going to get his ass kicked a lot, um, because he had he's he's yeah. he's new, he yeah. doesn't have the swagger yet. And if you and if you think about it, and I had to watch all the Twilight films, so I know this unfortunately. But if you took Bruce Wayne, like if you took the Bruce Wayne that we've seen in the last few movies. And then you stripped his swagger out, and you were just left with the broody, um, unconfident man. That's pretty much his character in Twilight. <laughs> Twilight is very similar in terms of how he would act, how he would sound, you know, uh, how he would present himself. It wouldn't be like super far flung, yeah. and so it not it doesn't shock me that it would kind of look a little. Twilighty, but I think it's intentional. I think they want to make him look a bit feeble. I think they want him to be an underdog. 
in this, even more so than Batman is usually almost always some form of underdog because he's supposed to be a normal guy. Uh, most of the time, you know, he's got the plan. Batman's superpower is his brain, right? Like, uh, he's got his bat belt and the fucking utility belt and the fucking whatever else, and it's his brain. He's got a, he's got a contingency plan for everyone in the fucking Justice League. He's got, like, secret shit for bat, you know, for, for, for fucking Superman if he needs to take him out. Like, like, that's, that's his superpower. So, uh, I think, I think that's probably intentional. It's just unfortunate that his character in Twilight is very much what that would look like uh yeah. in that regard but it that's looks so good thing, yeah that's the only thing that that i questioned but the thing is i don't even question all that much because we haven't watched the movie and i'm sure there's going to be a progression and from what i'm hearing is they want to do a trilogy with this specific batman so you know we could be just getting infancy literally a year and a bit in and then we're going to see a gradual progression and you know hopefully at some point we do get a more confident um, Batman. I would you know, love and- a trilogy with Pattinson having the growth of Batman into the confident Bruce Wayne, into the swagger, growing into that. I think that'd be fucking awesome. Yep. Uh, and it would be it would be very satisfying versus just seeing mostly a trilogy of Batman already being Batman and not having much of an arc character yeah. character wise across the films. I think that would be I think that would be good. I'd be I'd be there for it. It looked amazing. Uh, I'm I'm all for it. I knew he was gonna look great, and you know, I think only 25 percent of this film is actually filmed. Uh, I think they're going back into production early next month. Mm. So, um, you know, they still have lots of this thing to film. Um, it looks super promising. I'm liking what DC is doing. Uh, just a, and just in general, uh, DC is is looking good. <laughs>